I have gotten several requests um, to do an updated uh, comparison video of the three main all-in-ones, which really still are Kartra, ClickFunnels, and Kajabi. As you already know, I mean, Kajabi is what I use, um, but it's been it's been a couple of years since I've really gone through all of them. And so I still recommend you sign up for the trials and you go through this process yourself. But uh, if you don't want to, then you don't have to. You can watch me go through it here now. So I'm going to do a quick uh, sign up for the free trials on all of them, explore around the inside uh, of all three of these a little bit, and then make a demo page in all three of them and see just how it feels, what it looks like, and then just really showing you so that you can decide. Maybe you're like, no, I really loved you know, whichever one you choose. And you're like, that's just what feels great for me. I love how it functions, how it looks. And that's when you're going to decide to go with, which is totally fine, but I have my really specific reasons why Kajabi was a massive game changer for me. It was, um, it, it, this is the one here that I just, I completely love. Uh, it's not perfect. None of them are perfect. They're all going to still have some issues and glitches and it's tech. Like there's software updates and it's a platform and there's things that, you know, sometimes they just are always improving on, but it is such an incredible, incredible, robust software and program that's just, it's been an amazing gift and game changer for me and has made a massive, massive difference in my life and my business. So I'm very, very grateful for it. And uh, yeah, so I'll show you why, but the differences and how they function, and then you can see what you think about it. And I will say that uh, the tech in general of how it's evolved over the last like five eight years, you know, you think about people who started a decade ago, I mean, even like, you know, Russell Brunson, who started ClickFunnels, the reason why this was, um, this guy here, sorry, I'm sitting outside, so I've got my headphones on, it's a little loud, but it's so nice out, and, um, you know, the reason this one was so famous is because it really was the first full funnel builder, and, I mean, I just have so much respect for that, I think that's incredible, he has an amazing story, I just... <laughs> really don't like the way the platform functions. I just found one that works a lot better for me and the way that I operate. So I, it's absolutely no shade at any of them. Um, you just have to find what works for you. I believe, in my opinion, from my experience, that this one is the best. I like Kajabi. I prefer that one. And there are also so many other options and variations now, and I just don't want you to get so overwhelmed and lost in choices. So really think about where it is that you are in your business and really what is the goal and the purpose of the software platform that you're using. Answer those two questions really solidly with accuracy. Be truthful with where you are and what you're doing. And then uh, from there, start just looking in that bracket. Like, do you really want an all-in-one or are you only looking for a place to host a course? Um, or are you actually doing one-on-one -on -one coaching? Or are you really focusing on... Uh, you know, maybe you do e-commerce product or you want something that's really specific just to a membership site or something instead of a course and your funnels and your pipelines and your website and all of those different pieces. So just really ask yourself those questions. What is it you really need and really where is it that you are in your business? Now, my my TMJ facial appliance um, Lisp is driving me a little bit crazy today, so I'm going to take those out really quickly and I'll pause as we go between these. But let's uh, get started and dive in. Okay, here we go. So I am just going to scroll through the home pages here so you can see these real quickly. It's just showing you, how, you know, what these people replace them with. And, you know, Natalie Ellis, she's the original boss babe. You know, so you definitely have some known, well, really well-known names that use Kajabi, like Amy Porterfield, uh, Brenda Burchard, Haley Burkhead, James Wedmore, you know, a ton of really big, big names. So you know that it's definitely tried and true from top industry leaders in the digital product course creator world. And so that immediately helps instill some trust, but you can just kind of get a feel immediately when you scroll through the homepage, what the platform inside is going to be like because of the functionality, the ease, the load time, the style. I mean, even if it's like slightly soft edges, it's things are really spaced out. It's very clean and clear and bright and easy to read and certain words pop. Like all of that stuff is really important for me because I do not want to feel overwhelmed. I want as much just clear open space as I can. Um, having a little demo video is really helpful. 
and I think they all have that, but you do uh, need to put your email in for that one. Let's see here on ClickFunnels, it looks really um, it looks really busy yeah, to me. This is a little bit nicer, I like the arrows that connect it. Uh, you know, you understand the concept of the little wheels turning the cog wheel, and um, you know, I, I like that it's a little bit of clarity and direction in here. You know, as you kind of scroll through the page and showing you a little bit, but it feels like that. It feels like the original, like the old school. That's a little more spammy and a little more grimy. And I feel like the online selling space of, of course, you know, the knowledge industry is, is really just going to keep growing because it's people taking their, you know, specialties, those unique things, and then sharing it and monetizing it and a really delivering that product in a really powerful way that's creating transformations and results for people. It's uh, incredible. So I really, I really am drawn to the aspect that feels very clean and, and bright and genuine and doesn't kind of have that old school sleazy ish type of feel. Again, not saying that, you know, that P is or anything. It's just, that's kind of the vibe and the feeling that I experience when I look at it. So it's, that's just maybe not my taste as much. There's just been so many tools out there. Very few have been aggregated to do everything you need to do to create success. I'm going to skip forward a little. Mm -hmm. And in like no time at all, I've got this finished product. And it's not. To lead them through the steps of, okay, here's who. Perfect. Yeah. So they, you can see they all have the same concept of. Uh, being that true all-in-one where you can put all of your steps in one platform together. And as you know, the thing that really drove me crazy, if you watch my other videos about ClickFunnels, is that it did not do that for me, at least at that time. Uh, I, 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 had, I had to have a different email marketing system, different webinar system, a uh, different video hosting system. It wouldn't even put the videos from my course into ClickFunnels. It just drove me absolutely crazy. From email marketing to memberships, page building to automated funnels, no matter what you do, you'll have everything you need to bring your product or service to market with Kartra. Meet Kartra Pages, the all-new, all-in-one app that empowers you to create gorgeous-looking web pages. Start from scratch or... Okay. <laughs> the other one was, like, really slow-paced. I want to skip forward a little bit. This one's really... <laughs> fast and that's great. So, I mean, all, all that I'm showing that for is because you get a sense of the personality behind the platform and the functionality, how it's going to be, uh, created when you're, when you're actually inside and using it. So that's where you want to be able to look at those things. Um, I mean, this is nice that we kind of get a list of everything, but, um, it's a little bit hard. Uh, I, I don't, I don't know if that's the best display. To really demonstrate, I like how these two did it a little bit better with like the path of how you use something. Uh, this, yeah, these should be real people, I think, in my opinion. I don't know. Um, yeah, they don't really have any real people and real human stories on their main page. Uh, it's very odd. It's very, it's a very kind of robotic feeling versus um, these two took a more human approach. So that's kind of interesting. All right, so I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna create a demo account for ClickFunnels and Kartra, and I'm gonna log into my dummy account here into Kajabi. All right, so they all make you enter in payment information before you start your trial so that I can auto process at the end of the 14 days, which is, makes sense, but it's annoying. So I'm going to put my card info in all of them and then just make sure I cancel because I'm just doing this as a test for you. To show you the inside and what it's like to do the trial so that you don't have to do this part if you don't want to. Um, and I actually decided I am going to sign up for a Kajabi trial as well instead of just logging into my current one because I want to really see and experience the difference and really what they look like. Um, now something with this, uh, with ClickFunnels, is it automatically only gives you the option. I don't want to click away from it but because I do want to get this. I want to set this one instead of the $297 a month, so the $300 a month platinum plan. But I moved my mouse up to close out of the screen really just to switch to the other tab, and it popped up this option of the $97 basic plan. Um, so that's the one I'm gonna do instead 
of the $300 different one. I don't know what's different with those yet, um, but I know they do have different pricing tiers. Let me see. This one is the $199 that Kajabi sets you up with, and it's the growth plan. Uh, that's what I actually have, um, but I know you can switch it as well. Um, but they have one that's less. It's like 120 a month. And then one that's more. I don't know what's included in it, involved in it. Um, but I don't I don't need more than this at a time. It's a lot. So anyway, again, I'm going to cancel them all at the end of just this, this demo. Uh, because it is just a demo. But I just kind of want to give you the true, like, I don't know, insider's look. See what, it, what it's actually like. Okay, so now on Kartra's page... Um, it will let you do a 14 day trial for a dollar, um, not free, but I guess that, that still kind of works, um, because then you won't actually get charged for it, uh, until the 14 days is up, which is the same kind of thing. Um, I wanted to show you the pricing, but this only popped up as that window when I went to, when I went to close it, because it's not giving me the option on their normal page for a free trial, which is what I was looking for. So, but I was going to show you the different pricing plans here because they have a $99 option up to like 200, um, is the silver one. I don't remember what the gold and platinum were. Um, so we'll see if I can go back and show you that, but they are not actively advertising a free trial anymore, but it is this $1 one. So that's what I'll do. Uh, $99 a month, build two membership sites. Okay. A uh, hundred pages, 50, only 50 videos. That's not great. Um, 20 products. That's good. Uh, so you'd probably need the silver one cause unlimited. Um, and then especially if you have a couple different websites or custom domains you want to use, um, unlimited help desks. I don't know what that means. Is that like you can only, I have no idea what that means. Okay. And Carter agency. That's interesting. I don't know what that means, but we're just going to go with the basic one. And, um, yeah, so it just kind of shows you the different options, but all of their pricings and features are really pretty similar. Sometimes they just all word them differently. Um, but you just really want to look at and pay attention to if they have caps on how much is limited, like Kajabi's is, um, Oh, nice. Okay, if you go up to close it again, you'll get a 30-day trial. Um, that's great. Sure. I, I'm still just doing this for the demo, but um, good to know. So if you go hover over the cancel button, then that's what it'll give you. Uh, but like Kajabi's, uh, what I was saying, for example, is that it gives you like 15 pipelines, which is funnels. So 15 different funnels. Sorry, just to my desk. That's a lot. So it's just good to know kind of what you need. Like, for instance, this is pretty important to pay attention to. So the starter kit, that's uh, 2,500, 2,500 leads. So that should be email addresses. So that's something that you're going to want to pay attention to when you're looking at, um, like, this is, they call it contacts, but it's 25,000. So that's very different. Um, and see, it's like 24-7 chat support, things like that. It's like, is that the help desk? So it's just kind of confusing. Uh, that's, that's really important to understand, like how many email addresses can you collect? Because that's, you know, those are the contact points that you actually own instead of social media where you're, you know, renting space kind of for free on, you know, platforms that you're not paying for. So you don't really have any ownership of that. If your account ever gets oh, I had so many friends, it's scary. The possibility, you know, uh, not do anything wrong or against terms or something and get their accounts frozen or locked because it got I don't know, confused with some other account or something, something in the algorithm grabbed it. And, um, anyway, so you just want to make sure that you're collecting as many leads as you can, cause that's really how you grow your business. So that's just, um, that's just not that many. So that's good things to pay attention to like that. All right. So immediately Kartra has me, I just skipped my login information at the top. I'm still trying to continue. Ah. Um, is to fill out all of this um, business information here right away. Um, click funnels uh, immediately brought me to this page with videos and I'm not going to lie. All of this from both of them feels extremely like overwhelming and loud. Like why, are, why is all of this stuff happening right now? And so I don't know how to, 
un unlock those that I'm missing unless it like didn't process something. Again, my computer's overheating, so I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, no, look, it, it, it logged in. Like I'm, I don't know, I have an active account, so I don't know why that funnel build thing was all locked in here. That was really um, weird to me and seemed like um, just a lot. So I'm going to go through, answer these questions and then get the Kajabi one set up. And then we'll finally be <laughs> created with the test accounts for all of these. And then we'll do a demo. Okay. Just a heads up in both Kartra and ClickFunnels so far, um, immediately upon signing up, they've both done an upsell. Okay. Uh, simply different Kajabi. As soon as I signed up, um, it, instead of going to an upsell, uh, just wants me to confirm and activate my account. So again, I decided to, you know, do a, a, a fresh new Kajabi account because I really want to see the process and show you everything from all three of these. Also, actually a quick note, this is really interesting. After I made the first part of this video and started, you know, looking up all of these websites, I've been getting so many ads targeted to me for different pipeline alternatives. And I looked into some of them. It's really interesting. There's a lot coming out now that are lower cost, you know, which we talked about in the beginning of this video, there's a lot more competition now for that. The technology's there, which is great. I mean, that helps <laughs> keep things from being a monopoly, which is very important, but it is also, especially after you've used a lot of these platforms, it is an extraordinary amount of, uh, of like coding and information to get these to all the pieces to work and function and operate really, really well together. So, um, a lot of the ones that are lower cost, in my opinion, from what I've seen so far are just looking like they, they can't quite keep up with, um, the functionality and the ease of use and all of the dynamic pieces together in the way that probably these can that are a lot more robust and developed and and more um, kind of well funded I suppose um, anyway I just thought that was kind of interesting so there's definitely some more smaller companies which is again great but I just don't know that they can serve at that same level so depending on what really what you're looking for if you want that full all-in-one that really can handle everything or at least 90% of stuff you know, you're still probably going to want to look at one of the bigger companies. Okay. So after I clicked the verification link in my email, then I got Kajabi's upsell video. I was like, the other one's out, there's gotta be something coming. So, um, this is the video for Kajabi access. I think this is more of their like, uh, private coaching and support. That's why we're so excited to introduce our brand new service, Kajabi Outreach. You'll get the resources, services, and one-on-one -on -one guidance that will help you maximize our platform for your success. You'll get personalized advice and feedback. Okay, that's really cool. Yeah, so it is. It looks like a kind of a coach that can really help you build and develop your stuff on Kajabi, which is cool. I actually work... Uh, with the companies that I've hired before in the past uh, that does Kajabi pages. I'll drop their info in the link or the, their link in the caption below as well. So you guys can see that access too. Um, that's really cool. could be useful, but um, I don't know everything that it includes. I'm not going to sit. I don't want to sit and watch the whole video, <laughs> but uh, all right, here we go. Let's dive in and see how easy it is to make just kind of like a base pipeline or a landing page. If you do want some help with creating your landing pages and you want to outsource that to somebody, again, I'll share that Kajabi resource. I don't have people for the other companies, um, but I'm sure, I'm sure they exist. Okay. Interesting. The first thing that pops up on Kajabi's is to add a business address. Um, which is true. That is a legal requirement for any time that you're using something as a CRM, a client relationship management. So that's your email software that it does need to have your business address on the bottom. Uh, I don't know what the rules are for doing a PO box. And I know a lot of people opt for that because they don't want to list like their home address because a lot of people work from their homes out of their, you know, houses, especially if you're, you know, digital entrepreneur and you don't have an actual, office that you go to. The other option, what I use, uh, it's called iPostal, I think. And that's, uh, basically they, they use a mail center, uh, where you can like ship packages from and they are, it's all like legal. It's created. They, they do this. It's the, the company process 
where they can accept your mail for you and you register that as your business address and then they can just send you your mail um, from them because they're a public location. So that's something that's kind of helpful. And then it takes me to an onboarding quiz. Okay, there we go. So that was six questions and then here's their welcome video uh, for Karcha access. Let's see, I just want to log in now. So they all have some welcome stuff. Um, the ClickFunnels one was really weird because it was like their welcome was also like an upsell. Um, that was just kind of interesting. So uh, then it just kind of throws me in and I'm sure there's, there's probably some emails uh, with more instructions and things, but funnels, I just want to go. Okay. My face is in the way. Build a new funnel. <laughs> this is what we want to do. But I'm really walking you through the whole process, what it's like um, to do the demo trials for all of these, kind of with fresh eyes. You know, it's been a couple of years since I've been in either of these platforms or since I was new to Kajabi. So, um, yeah, just really kind of showing you what it's like. All right, we're going to do one with the goal of collecting emails, so getting those leads. I don't remember what it said, the $97 basic plan for ClickFunnels, uh, the amount of emails it lets you collect. Um, Karcher was at 2,500, Kajab is 25,000. Um, that was for the growth plan. I don't remember. I think it was like 10,000 for the basic plan on Kajabi. It's all starting to mix in my head a little bit. Okay, so name, let's see, test funnel, um, select group tag, um, new email tag. That's cool. Okay, let's build the funnel, see what it looks like. All of them have templates. All of them have like already set up structures in there for things that you can use. It's really seen, you know, if there's a specific feature or functionality that you really need to have a certain amount of emails, a certain amount of pages, like something like that. Otherwise, they're all going to be able to have your, you know, your website, your webinars, all of your funnels, uh, your pipelines, your emails. Well, ideally, again, back in the day, ClickFunnels is not that for me. You know, it's just kind of looking at seeing how they look and operate and function and which one is the best suited for you. All right, we are finally in all three. Okay, so Kartra starts with a, uh, a welcome video here. Learning how to navigate your way around the interface. Right now, That's helpful. you're at the main dashboard where you will see a general overview of the recent activity in your Kartra account. Now, since this is a brand new account, just like yours, it's pretty much empty at the moment. But very soon, it'll begin populating with data, charts, numbers, and lovely things like that. I feel like I'm watching one of those cartoon explainer videos. <laughs> Here on the left sidebar, you'll find the main menu to access all the key features of the platform. Your products and sales, your email communications, your pages and websites, etc. These areas are where you'll soon... Okay. Cool. We don't need to watch the whole thing together. We will continue. Here's where you want to start. Comprehensive to-do list. Let the experience begin. Because when you are, you know, starting these and committed to them, like you really do want help walking through it and getting used to it. Um, I'm actually super surprised there really wasn't anything that quite like that uh, with ClickFunnels here. Um, but I'll tell you, when I was a ClickFunnels member in 2018, 2017 to 2018, I believe, um, it looked exactly the, the same. It looked exactly like this. I don't, I don't think this has changed one single bit. Uh, it looks exactly the same. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, to me, like uh, when you look at when you look at something like this Kajabi page, how bright and clean it is like it's not overwhelming with all of the things I think that's really helpful for for me the way that I function and operate that's really helpful to me um yeah so <laughs> that's definitely my preference it's my preference for a reason okay I like that we get to see an update that's cool get ready to sell online try these tips to get started great create your first product um oh that's Mel he's great um, and um, Raluca, uh, this is so fun. So I recognize people in the photos. They're real people. <laughs> They're not stock photos. 
Okay, so getting started. Um, oh, neat. Okay, so I just clicked on that. Four steps left, about 13 minutes. I love that it tells me that's great. Um, building a product. Okay, great. I like this very chill. Um, okay, so build a product, uh, preview product, add a description thumbnail. I like that it tells you how long and how many steps. So we've got create, package, sell, and set up your site. That's awesome. I think if you were to commit, I mean, a week, really, I mean, probably to any of them, I just think this makes it a lot easier to doing this, to getting all of this set up. You could easily have everything up and, and functional uh, to be able to put out into the world within a week. No problem. Um, okay, but our objective is to make a page. Because I just want to show you that process. Um, beyond that, there's just going to probably be a little bit like, too much to go into everything. So my pages, here's our test funnel. Okay, mother funnel, PLF. <laughs> I don't know if that's, uh, it's funny. Okay, I'm just going to do a minimal landing page style, select template. So here we're on click funnels. I'll just do, I'll focus, <laughs> I'll do one at a time and work to the left. Okay, edit page. Cool. I like that it has a split test that you can um, put right away. That's neat. Clone funnel step. That's good. And then it had an automation button there so you can add more tags. That's good. Um, I'm getting like anger flashbacks. It's just seeing this, this loader. Again, if you haven't watched my other video where I really share about my story, you'll see more of why. All right. So here's the editor. If I click on the image, um, this is maybe you can download this image because it's a nice little iPhone mock-up, but you can actually like drag your photo into that. I think sometimes it's, it looks like you could do something like that, but that's not the case. It's just an actual click funnel image there, their um, demo one that they have in there. Uh, but here, you know, you can see that you can do some SEO, uh, image height stuff, things like that. Themes. Um, okay. So that can change some of the background stuff, which is cool. And let's see. This all just looks, um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty boring, pretty good, pretty simple, pretty easy though. I mean, you just kind of click into it and save, save money with this program. I don't know, again, just demo text. Okay, so video, if I click on that, I want to put a video into here. Oh, gosh, I remember that. Um, you, the way the edit works. Okay, so here you can see video embed. You will need an embed code to put it in. And so this is hosted on Wistia. And you need to, um, uh, I don't think they've changed it. Let me see if I can find out. Um, save. If the uh, ClickFunnels account actually lets you host the videos now, or if you need to also um, pay for that, because that was something that was really, really difficult for me when I originally used this platform, was that it didn't allow video hosting, so I had to upload all my videos on either like YouTube and have the logo and where it like auto plays other people's stuff or Vimeo or Wistia and pay for those, which was all really, really frustrating. So just from looking this up, uh, cause I can see it on here, it doesn't look like it's, it's changed where it allows video and audio hosting, uh, which just at this, at this year, like that's, that's not great. Um, it's just if you're, you know, using these to build your funnels and your courses, like you're looking for that all in one where you want your website, your funnels, your courses, your CRM, everything in there. Uh, it really does need to have the functionality of hosting videos. So that alone is, that'd be a no-go for me. All right, we're going to look at Kartra. I like that it has this green button over here that's just like, <laughs> create a page. Okay, so... I would like to create a page. Okay, launch builder. 
test leads. Okay, no category in particular. And no site in particular. Okay. Create. I don't like the cogwheels, it just makes me think of click funnels, even though we're on Kartra now. All right, Kartra Pages Tutorial. Okay, I like that it has uh, kind of a walkthrough and instructions, it's great. This page is a lot brighter, looks a lot cleaner, more simple, so that's really good. All right, so we're just going to kind of flip through these because I really just want to get to the editor and the functionality of it. But I like it, SEO, styles, sections, components, that's good, so you can kind of see how to drag and drop into that. I like that it has this walkthrough. Um, they definitely do have pop-ups. I have a notification bar. Nice, that's good. I have one of those on my site. Check your design on multiple devices. That's great. Um, you always want to make sure you have an easy way to check the phone. Column mode versus component mode. Okay, this looks pretty f similar to like if you're used to using I think it's Squarespace or and or like Wix, Weebly, those kind of things um, as well. I I don't I don't love it, but I know that it's uh, pretty standard and uh, people are pretty generally pretty like used to it or familiar to it. And um, yeah, so let's set up an opt-in. That's the same thing as the just the landing pages. Okay, um, lead capture form. I guess so. I don't. I mean, I don't have a form yet, so we'll just do test lead. Okay. So I think that's pretty similar to probably the tag that we did inside of ClickFunnels. Interesting. We still don't see the p actual page yet, unless this is the page. It's just the form. Um, ooh, ooh, that feels really stressful. Uh, I don't want to do it completely from blank nothingness. Um, that's, that's too blank. <laughs> that's too empty. That's like nothing to work off of. So let me see if, uh, pages, experts for hire nice. They have a link to people you can get to help you with campaigns marketplace. I hope that's not like paid ones. Okay. Oh, okay. There are paid ones, but there are at least free ones as well. God, this just looks exactly the same as ClickFunnels. Like they, they barely look different. Um, okay. This is interesting. All right. My pages, I just want to like add a new page, but from a from like a template that they have. Okay, let's try this. So here are different page types. Um, I don't know where like their regular like website is. I don't know how you build a website on this. Squeeze pages. I mean that's that's your that's your opt-in page. Okay, so we'll do that. Okay, these all I just don't like this any of these styles. Um, they'll look just super aggressive. Okay. Our services are the best ever. Again, I know this feels like a little slower. I'm going to go with this one. Um, but I just, I really wanted to just show you the whole process so you can really see everything and hope it, really hope it helps. Yeah. Open. Oh, launch builder. Okay. So there's another button up there. Page name. All right. Real test page. Okay. Category. No, no. I mean, I don't have categories or sites set up yet. Obviously, it's my demo one. Okay. So we're loading a new page builder. I didn't, the one from scratch was like really from scratch. That was overwhelming. That's too much. All right, so I'm going to move over to Kajabi now, start one there, and then I'll go back to ClickFunnels, do a couple more edits so that you can see how those look. All right, so I like that it has this getting started walkthrough um, that we already looked at. Uh, I really, again, you already know which one I chose, so I'm very biased because I chose it for a reason, 
but I really like the way that Kajabi organizes things. So what I do wish it was though, was I wish they had a little drop down arrow so I could immediately like click the arrow and go to the blog or something. It's not that different. All you do is click on the header, the headline title one, and then it provides the drop down. So how that's different than an arrow, it's really not. It's just a tiny thing in my mind where I'm like, oh, it'd be neat if that were a drop down. Um, I'm not going to build a full theme design for the website because I just want to go straight to a page. But you can see it has website design pages. Um, so that's going to be like your terms and conditions uh, 404 page, your real static stationary ones. Navigation, what your navigation menu, how your site operates, the blog, and then the analytics. All that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, products is really where you put what you create, which is cool. Okay, so as you build your products in here, um, this is where your whole library will show up. And um, again, I don't want to go through this all too much, but I do want to show you a little bit of this back end. I could just make more videos on that as well from my actual account. So in sales here, this is where you just make your uh, your offer is your the, the checkout page. So the actual like cart page. So instead of offer, they could maybe call it cart because um, that's what the concept would be. Coupons and affiliates, um, all of that, uh, their affiliate program, all three of them have an affiliate program. They're all, I think, like 30 or 40%. Uh, but you do have to be at a certain tier to receive their affiliate program. I believe so. And with Kajabi, I think it's the $199 growth plan a month. Uh, okay, so marketing. This is where we want to hang out for today. Okay, so I like that it it does have you do the settings first so it can auto fill some of that stuff in. Uh, yeah, please configure marketing settings first. Okay, we're back. So I'm gonna go through some more of the setup steps so you can see it all. Uh, and then a few more page edits and then I'll just kind of flip around inside of each of the platforms a little bit so you can see some more. Um, so we're in Kajabi right now and down here I saved the marketing settings. It says go to next step. Uh, so you can see here it just has like breaks down into the one, two, three. Um, they have live trainings they do consistently. Now there are different promotions that Kajabi does where they'll have uh, uh, like there's there's a couple of trials that's the idea to income that takes you through a, a different possibly I'm not sure if it's different I guess but series and set of training to really get you started um, which is kind of cool and helpful as well but now I want to see if with those marketing settings if I can get to the page perfect okay so now um, if I just click on the the title then it provides the drop down menu and so you can see in marketing it's email campaigns pipelines that's funnels automation so all of your tags and triggers so that you you know you can automate things um, events so that's like your webinars and then forms so that's all of the you know opt-ins and uh, things like that and then people down here that's going to be a list of where all of your contacts are. So if you have a CRM from a previous one, you just import them here and then assessments. So if you do, you know, quizzes or anything that you want to, you know, gather information from people or, or like you would use Google Forms for something like that, uh, assessments work great. In my online course, I have an assessment at the end of each module so that people can kind of review and recap all of their information before it takes them to the next module. Uh, it's not, you can set it to be required so that they can't move past it um, until they complete that. Uh, mine isn't that way, it's an optional thing, but I think it's really helpful to just have those kind of built in. So that's an example there. So I'll go back to marketing and I'll show you the pipelines. So you can see it's just really like they use really simple graphics here to just outline it where you can just really see how one thing connects to the other. So here you can see freebie, sales page, product launch, coaching campaign, you, you know, you can see what they are. And um, I'll just click into the webinar one and you can see they show you the exact outline of what's included of what's there. Registration, confirmation, the emails, and they all have templates in them too. So I'll let We'll watch a little bit of this explainer video. Zoom webinar pipeline blueprint. Now this is an extremely powerful pipeline blueprint because it packs all the power of a product launch into a webinar. Let me explain. This blueprint starts out with a registration page. You could think of this just like an opt-in page, but it's a registration page where people are signing up to attend your webinar. Okay, right after that, they do a 
So if you've ever thought like, wow, it's really overwhelming the idea to put together a webinar and how do I connect all the pieces and create all of that? It's literally one button in here and you can see just how simple and clean and clear it is and how it just walks you through every step. It's already automatically connected and built in. Back in the day when I was using ClickFunnels, that is not the case at all. It's not how it functioned. And uh, like every little step is all included and I mean, you have access to all of that. So I just really want to show you how simple it is. Um, you can also go to other, their legacy pipelines. So you can see there are different ones here from their original. These are their new ones, but I want to keep it consistent. So we're just going to actually go in and build the freebie one. So this is your lead magnet opt-in. Nice. So you can see there's business coaching built into the process. So every single one of these pipelines has an explainer video that walks you through what it is and a visual so you can see exactly what is included in the default. You can always add more, which I will show you here. So we're going to hit create pipeline and this is exactly the same process that we've done in the other two so far. So we'll do, you know, test lead. And if you have your, your document already created, you just pick the file, upload it right there. So then it's automatically in, it's already inserted into your funnel process uh, by default, which is really, really cool. But if you don't have it created yet, that's fine. You can add it in later. So we're just going to generate. I like that it has the little 14%. I think Carter had that too, where it was done the bottom right corner. I kind of, I, I like that where it's, it shows you like the progress you're making. Okay, here we are. So it just loaded. This is the default pipeline. We haven't done anything to it yet. So this is really cool because it shows you your exact checklist over here. You can see like what your steps are to do and you can see at the end when it's created to share it. Um, up here is your stats so you can easily access your analytics. You can see how it's converting. You know, for an opt-in page, you really want it to be converting cold traffic around 20% and above. And if it's warm traffic, I mean, you really want your opt-in pages to convert at like you know, 40% and above. And so this is just a nice way to always kind of be checking in on that and seeing how it's doing. You can hit your emails here and see. So I really like that you can just have super easy access. I mean, it just functions really aesthetically and really, I mean, I say it all the time, like it feels like this is operates like a MacBook. These operate like a PC. It's the way that I feel about it. And then you just have your copy link up here that you can grab that at any time that you need to share it super accessible, super easy to grab. If you click in here, um, you can update the name anytime. If you click into the little menu button, you can do details, coding. I mean, you can get really specific with it. So you can do SEO in here. You can draft it so that it's not actually a live link. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, you can just see like you, it's really self-explanatory to function and move through these things. If you really want to add custom code, you just do, yeah, you do have to be on the upgraded plan for that. I forgot. I have that one. I have the growth plan and I think we're on the basic one, but, uh, yeah. And then reorder, but you can also drag and drop things. Okay. So I want to show you here. So if you hover, there wouldn't be any reason to add or purpose to add a page between this opt-in to the next one because all you would do is have it go to the next step in the pipeline where you could add more pages. So say you want to add an upsells, things like that. All you can do here is just hover and add a page, add a new landing page, and then it's going to give you the options of which kinds you can do. So if you want to add a, a video, you know, however it is that you want to structure that. Okay, so then if I wanted to add in a more detailed sales page, sales page or something, you can see they provide different templates just like built in right here. All of these are customizable. They're just with a certain like style. Um, so kind of look for what fits your brand. Um, so test sales page, we'll put that in there. So that would be them moving into the next step of the pipeline. If I wanted to take them from that opt-in directly to an upsell, something like that. Um, I like the little robot thinking, making up the hamsters. That's great. Okay, so I just want to show you what it's like to add in a page there, how, how simple it is. Like, you just, you see the actual line. Like, this is the process that you're taking them through. So it's very visual. And then you can add, you know, another offer at, at the end if you want to take them to a checkout page. I don't have any offers created, so I'm not going to be able to add anything in there because there's nothing exists yet. But I want to show you um, the email and the page here as well. Okay, so... 
this is really so helpful. So you can set all of your subscribe triggers. So if you create multiple forms, those opt-in forms, you just can add different triggers to kind of test, you know, if people come in through a bunch of different social platforms and they use those forms, they'll all be put into this pipeline. And then, you know, as soon as they purchase or something, you have the unsubscribe trigger. So if it's set at zero, then that's going to be immediate. And, you know, this one is pretty basic because, you know, it's, it's so open-ended. It's just the generic opt-in, but this is where you would want to have a welcome message or thank them for joining your list. So it tells you the prompt um, in this one, which is really helpful. Okay, then we'll go to, I just like that it's it's all just so visually built in. But here is where you can see like, you know, a basic landing page. They're all super similar. Yeah, kind of, you click on it, the editor pops open, get my face out of the way. And then, you know, over here, I like that you don't actually type in here directly. Um, that was different for me because the other ones I think you do actually type in this box. But what happens is when you're moving through a lot of edits quickly, um, the amount of mistypes where you click on something and then you're trying to like type in the new thing and you accidentally delete or drag and drop because your cursor still clicked. If, if you've done like page creation, you know what I'm talking about, where you're moving through stuff fast and you'll accidentally drag and drop the wrong thing, put the text somewhere incorrectly. Again, it's like you're moving fast and I've just done that so many times. So I actually really like this. It was weird to me at first. Um, to get used to that, but hello, please sign up for this freebie. And then you see, like, you just have your form. Um, you can also make it inline if you want it to have that different style, but then you would want to take this block and increase the width of it on the page. So that's really just how you kind of edit things around. You can see it tells you what the section is and then the like the blocks within that so this is where they really are you know super similar um, oh okay so it looks like it kicked me back out to the tutorial okay so we're gonna add some stuff so I can see I've got a hero with form I'm going to add content so here's where I have an accordion um, you can see a preview kind of of what that looks like uh, you know you hit the, the button and then it like opens up like an accordion. Um, but I'm not going to save that. I'm just going to go back and so you can rename, duplicate, hide, or delete, add content assessment. So that's one of those like Google forms we're talking about call to action blog post. So you can also set it where it, um, will just automatically, uh, like the RSS feed is that what it's called where it'll automatically like load in your previous blog posts. That's why there's nothing there. It's not actually a blog that's active. Countdown timer. So let's see. We'll do boxed. I don't have an event created yet, so it doesn't, um, I can hit edit my events and it will just take me to the event page. You can create an event. So this would be, uh, you know, a live training, your webinar, something like that. Live training will repeat the event. Um, let's do every uh, 15 minutes. So if I'm doing a webinar and I wanted it to be, you know, evergreen and have somebody be able to register every 15 minutes is when it could be open. So then we can hit save and then I'll close out of that. Back to the pipeline. Edit the events, live training. So now it knows um, that the original time is set to start 36 minutes from now. And then it will repeat every 15 minutes. Um, and then after an event, you can set it to go to a specific URL, download a file, next pipeline, checkout page, landing page, sales page. But it's just, it's all super linear. Like I think it really makes it easy to kind of figure out. And then here's where, you know, you can just, um, edit things and play with design and, and that kind of stuff. There's so much you can do. There's so much customization. So I don't want to go into everything. You can see that just added like a little um, curved shadow behind them. I just want to show you. So let's see if I want to put in a video, um, what that would look like. Uh, 
look at this. Okay, so because I added the event, now it has all of the event blocks for the time. Um, and so this is what you would want to edit to see what's going to show before it. Um, is this the page that the event is actually hosted on? So then it's going to have the join now and then um, during. So I kind of want to delete that because it's going to make, let's see, event video. We're going to delete that uh, just because I don't want this page to be too cluttered with stuff. I'm just going to do a regular video, but um, let's see, we'll also put in a pricing card. Let me just so you can, you know, see what things look like. And right now it, you just um, clone it so you can add in more of them. And I want to make it, I'm gonna make it wider and then, let's see background. I'm going to block the background color. Let's make it this orangey red. I don't know. It's really bright and aggressive. <laughs> so, um, wow, that's super bright. We're going to go ahead and save it. I mean, I just want you to like see some of the edit features. We don't actually need to make these make sense. Um, and again, I'll do this on all three of them. We'll play with it a little bit more, but multi-video launch. So if you're doing a video series, this is super helpful. Um, you just can add in a row of the pictures that click to the video links. Oh, you know what I want to do actually is, let's see, let's save. And then from here, so if I go back out, you'll see sections. So right now I'm still operating in this same section and I'm just adding these different blocks. I can add a different section. So this is where you can have, if you want the general layout to be different with different columns, uh, text and panel, you know, right now it's the hero with form. That's the section, but you have all of these, like the basic content, different hero content. Um, and that's where it takes up the full screen, uh, feature cards, and then marketing events, so you have forms, multi-video launch, that's what I would click for the video series, image gallery. So like on my artist page, I have an, I have a bunch of image galleries. In my coaching pages, it's a bunch of videos, video galleries, uh, especially for video galleries, great for testimonials, your case studies, um, offer storefront. I mean, you just have so many. And, it, and when you have your offers in here, it'll automatically load those ones but you have your pricing options, your pricing cards. So that's where it has like the three tiers. You just click that, add it in, and then you edit it to be what you need. Your FAQs. I mean, it just has everything super built in because I think people get nervous sometimes. They're like, how do I, you know, add in the professional FAQ section? Like, how do I make it look like that? It, the format, everything is already there. You just put in your info. So here is where it'll automatically load in your latest blog post. You can set it to be one, two, three, or four. Um, and then you have completely custom sections. So you can fully make up your own or put in completely your own code. You can really, really make it your own, however it is that you want. Now, I just want to show you, like, video on this one is so helpful because, uh, you know, you can add in whatever it is that you want around it. So here we're in a new section. We have a block, and then I can add in... You know, maybe here's why I want the blogs or the features or the form or the pricing cards or something. Uh, but you, you host the video on here. So when I click this, all I do is add video and I just upload it. Like it hosts it on here. It's super critical to understand because if it doesn't include video hosting, then you have to upload it on Wistia or Vimeo and pay for those or YouTube and have the YouTube logo stuff around it and then put that code into your funnel which is what ClickFunnels does. So uh, like that's just pretty critical <laughs> to understand. You can, um, I've never actually done this process recording from here and I, I don't want it to do that right now, but you can record <laughs> directly from that, which is crazy. Uh, link, Google Drive, Dropbox, or just directly from your computer, you upload it. It's just so simple. Um, your player settings, so you can choose, you know, do you want to show the controls? Do you want to be autoplay, loop it, show the video settings? I mean, all of those, all of those aspects are just a click, just a button. It's just very, in my mind, very simple. And it's the, it's very easy and self-explanatory. So I just want you to understand the difference um, between like the sections and then within your section, you have all of those blocks that you can then 
add in and customize. So even if I click on here, that brings me back to the section and then I have my video, but then I can add that content of, you know, the countdown, whatever it is that I want. See, so here's where maybe I want to take that event of the live training that I did and that'll just pop up right underneath it. Save. Good to go. Cool. So that's just showing you a little bit about the page edit inside of Kajabi here. And again, I didn't make it look like anything pretty. I just want to show you some of the functionality. You just have pretty easy, clear back buttons. And then, you know, once you don't have the back anymore, you see you're kind of done. Get my face out of the way again. And then um, when you want to move to the other sections, I mean, you just click on it. So if I want to go, okay, cool, I finished my opt-in page. That's all set up how I want. Now let's go fix that email. You just, it's all lined up on that left bar for you where you can just go over it, click on it. It's going to take you exactly to that place. Um, from here, once you have your email, you know, made, maybe you want to add an entire sequence. All you do is click add new email and you just can keep adding to it. Again, if you, if you click, if you originally select a pipeline that's pre-built in the template of the, like the Zoom webinar, for example, something like that, that's going to have, all right, well, it's recommended from the business coaching, you know, strategy that's provided that you have the four emails or something, and those are going to be preloaded in there for you. Like it's really designed to help be very simple. Um, so here you can see it has a bunch of email templates. I still think that just text usually converts the best. I mean, it depends on your business and your brand type and style though, but I usually just use this one, a simple text or the classic editor and they're just kind of a blank slate for you to just do a, a, a type, a text based typed out email, which is pretty cool. You can see it's really simple. I mean, you just put it in here. Um, you, you have the personalization tags, so you can, you know, adjust them by name, things like that. You can add in all of your buttons. It's pretty simple. And then like I showed you, we just added in this sales page. So say I had them opt in. And then, you know, they get their email that says like, thanks for subscribing. Here's your free gift delivered. And then maybe I wanted it to be an immediate upsell. So the sales page could have a, you know, and this is the template that we chose. It could have, you know, a, an order bump or something that takes them directly to this. Editing features functions are all exactly the same. So once you get familiar with it, it's really, really easy to use. And then it can take them to a thank you page. Remember your thank you page can take them to just a, a thanks page. That's like, Hey, cool. Like, especially if you already did your, your upsells, but, um, it can also be used to redirect them to your website, to your social media, to your YouTube channel, whatever it is. Like you can, you know, fully customize that from, we, we did the edits in the sections here. And then if you click in the settings, so if you want to change the, the overall, um, style and, and everything, this is where you can change your primary colors, your fonts, all of those pieces and like the weight of the text and all of that, uh, where it's going to create the default that everything shows up with. And then your favicon, all, all of those kinds of pieces and yeah, um, custom code, all of those things, your footer, your two-step opt-in. So if you want to edit it, you just click on that and it'll let you pop it up. And then your exit pop up if you want that one when people start to go to close out of it. All right, from our demo test sales page here in Kajabi, uh, so you can see, you know, this one, again, we didn't do any edits to this. You can just see when something's highlighted, that's when you click on it to pop it up to edit it. Um, we, this is just the, the base template. So we can go to this little button is the preview. So you can see what it looks like live without the edit functions and all the stuff around it. And yeah, so it's kind of an, a pipeline overview inside of Kajabi and I, I really love it. I think it is by far the easiest, most clean and clear to use, but let's go play in the other ones. Cause I don't just want to tell you, I want to show you and show you where they're similar and where they're different. And again, I'm most familiar with that one. So it's going to be obviously the easiest for me. Okay. Now here, I like this. Uh, edit text. Okay. 
hello. This page is to opt in. Again, just, just using some dummy text to see how it goes. Okay, then I can click out of it. Um, nice, I mean, this is pretty simple and usable. I like it, and then I can click out. Just usable, kind of an E. It's gonna bug me, I can't remember right now. <laughs> okay, um, so I like that this is, I, I mean, pretty easy, pretty simple to use. It looks like, um, so components, if I wanna add a component, that's great, so say I wanna add a button, that's pretty cool. And I just drag it and drop it, ready to go. That didn't, okay, wait. I would like to put a button right here. Can I do that? Okay, it's green. Nice. Okay, I mean, so that's really simple. I like that. Um, I think that's a pretty easy way for it to get messy kind of quickly, but I, but I like it. I mean, I think that's pretty functional. Uh, let's see, let's put this one here. So it looks like I just have to wait and hover till it's green. So that's good. And then I can edit the text. And it looks like that's the, the clone duplicate button. That's good. Okay, so those are all my editing options. Okay. That was weird. Click here now. Okay. okay. That's interesting though that so on the button it wasn't like a direct edit. That's just on like the text of the page. Um interesting. Okay. Um cool. So let's see about events. Edits. So that's just style. based on landing date. Um, I like that, it has a dynamic. Okay. Redirect user. Well, that's good. So, I mean, that's, that's pretty simple. I like that. Um, I don't have a page to redirect them to right now, but cool, I like it. Did that not save? Oh. Okay, so that's probably because I didn't do a fixed time. Um, eh, what? Assets in this page. Pending, okay. Okay, yes, it is a placeholder. That's true, it's not actually a live form yet. Okay, so I think that's like warning me that it's not done. Okay, test lead, that's the form we made when we first started the page. Or its configuration is incomplete. Bah, why? Okay, um, well, since I don't actually need it to function, I'm not gonna work to fix that. I don't really know why it didn't. Um, I mean, we just made the form to collect the email and the name. I mean, maybe because it's not connected to stuff yet, but let's let's play with the editing of the page a little bit. Uh, okay, so you can see, I mean, all this is pretty similar. This is good. I like this. Okay, so if I wanted to, how to, sorry, you, I mean, the point of this is to show you, so you get to see my <laughs> thought process as we go through this. Okay, cool, so I just drag and dropped it, which is neat. I like the templates, I mean, that's cool. Um, okay. Oh, okay, hit the text button. Okay, my product is, I can't type right now, it is awesome, okay. Cool, uh, 30 day money back guarantee, nice. And then click edit to configure form. Edit, edit style, now I didn't, you know, I don't have an offer created in here so I won't be able to load a product. 
um, but that's good that you can do it just right from in there. Okay, and, and part of this is because I'm, you know, less familiar with this one, but I'm definitely feeling my um, anxiety on this page. But I, but this would definitely be my second choice. I mean, I think they have a very impressive amount of options and content and everything on here, and I, I definitely think it's has a lot, and I, I like that. I think that's really cool. This is very usable. Google Maps, that's neat. I haven't seen that one on something. Let's add in Google Maps. I feel like I'm like building a Lego or something or putting together a puzzle, um, which is kind of fun. That's really neat. I think you can do that with code um, in the other ones, but that's pretty neat. But I mean, like again, the features are going to be fairly similar where the stuff's like pre-built and set for you. It's just going to really depend on which one you like, how it functions. Uh, some of this drag and drop is pretty cool. I think it gets a little bit confusing because I don't always know where it went versus it just being um, like you click on it on the left side and then it loads it in for you. Um, so I'm not sure that I actually am a fan of this drag and drop, but it is simple to see. Which is neat, except for why is it? Didn't it go green there for a second? Okay, well, it didn't put that one in. I don't know where that one went. Oh well, okay. <laughs> um, so I'm curious about the help desk thing because we saw that in. So is this okay? So they provide okay, that's cool. So I don't know how they'd do that provide that service but it looks like maybe if you do the upgraded ones cart your help desk is included where they can help with your orders I, i'm wondering if that's just with like the order process and the funnels not necessarily like questions about your product uniquely but probably about the sales process um which is cool and that's my assumption but i think that's what that means and that seems really neat um, okay, so we looked at a bit of editing the page. Now I want to see, oh, save progress. Does it not automatically save? That's good to know. In Kajabi, you saw when you have the, the edit bar open, you need to have the, you need to hit save when you want something to uh, move out of draft mode, but it saves your pages automatically. Um, it continuously uploads that. Okay, so I want to do my emails. How do I get to the next step in the funnel? Because I see all of this is the page edit. I see this is um, to view it mobile. Oh, I forgot to show you that on Kajabi as well. Perfect. I like it when you can see that. You can see how it adjusted. So it's really important that you can have that preview, and uh, they all do, uh, which is good. Okay, so I just really want to find where to get my full funnel outline to see all my steps and the pieces that come together. So I'm going to go back to the home page and take a look. Okay, so home pages are all pretty similar, just different formats style aesthetic. I like the little 8% done. I'm like, oh, I have a lot to do. Which is true. Um, okay, so email, help desk, traffic conversions. So I just kind of put it all on the front page. That's fine. Okay, so my campaigns. Okay, so I think campaigns is funnels. The All the same thing, but click funnels, I think, kind of coined the term funnel, but it's that's what they are. So, so inside of Kajabi campaign is more in reference to an email campaign um, and they call their funnels pipelines but this looks like okay create the content in your Kartra account build and bundle the assets into a full and, compre and cohesive okay campaign elaborate or complex as you wish or template design nice okay so the page I built is that not attached to a campaign? It's just a page. Um, okay, my campaigns. I want to see if it shows if I have one started through that page. 
or if not. Okay, maybe not. All right, so let's look at available. I like the, the green button. Um, it took me a second to see it. That's just me. Okay. I So I thought this is, I guess, what I was doing when I was starting to create a page, but... Um, I, okay, so I see this is kind of similar to like Kajabi's pipeline templates. Uh, it's just the, the graphics on here are very... Uh, they're a lot more loud, which is fine. Okay, so let's just do simple list builder. We'll keep that similar. Um, all right, so can you give me a little video? Hello, fellow Kartra users. This is Rocky Anderson from Kartra, and you're about to deploy the simple list builder into your account. And this is just a very quick and easy way to get started and set up and start collecting email addresses for your business. Now, what it comes with is a choice of several different opt-in pages like this one, and then when people opt into this opt-in page, they're sent to a thank you page like this automatically where you deliver whatever you promise on your opt-in page, like a premium. Uh, and then it uses a form to do that, add them to a list, and send them into a follow-up sequence, an email follow-up sequence where they're encouraged to consume your premium and get to know and like and trust you. And you can even use this to follow up and sell products or even affiliate products. It's up to you to configure very simple to use, very quick to get started, and start using your Kartra account right away. Have fun with this. Okay, cool. So this is what I was looking for. This is what we did inside of Kajabi. So, ha, wait. I just want to click on it. Im oh, I don't want to import. I just want to use it. Don't show me the video again. <laughs> what am I missing? Okay. The little buttons. Deploy. Okay. That was really... Enter the campaign prefix. Um, test page. The... Okay. Deploy assets to your account. Okay. Congratulations! The campaign has been successfully deployed. Please note that a few new assets have been created in your account, and you might need to tweak them before they are ready to use. In the right edge of your browser, you will see a new tab with all of the steps you need to follow. Please go over them one. Okay. <laughs> this is... Um... So it's just not my favorite. This <laughs> just feels a little chaotic. You might be watching this and be like, this is easy. Why are you, I don't know, <laughs> having issues with this? And it might be totally fine for you. Um, but I'm wondering if that available campaigns, if now the simplest builder will show up in my campaigns. Um, I'm just not a big fan of this functionality, but we are getting there. We're making progress, so that's fine. And again, I mean, this is why I'm, I'm showing you, because maybe you're like, no, this totally is how I would want to do it, and you like this one, stop playing the video. <laughs> it's just not, just want you to open. Okay, edit. No, not the campaign. <sighs> okay, why can't I just, click on it what am I missing all right so is this where it breaks down all the pieces I'll get my face out of the way here okay yes I want to work on my pages okay so it looks like if I click on the little thing it'll show me where I'm at with that campaign and then I can click into which section I want to edit is what it looks like um, here's my yeah how do I edit this yes uh, okay I mean obviously I don't want to use like their image and everything not edit the page info I want to edit the page 
Oh my god. Okay. I think we found it. Again, sorry, maybe your brain works differently and you're like, this is super easy. Why don't you get it? I don't know. I just... Uh, and, and yeah, obviously I'm more experienced with Kajabi. It's the one I use and I'm biased because I chose it, but I chose it for a reason. And I'm simply demonstrating the differences and you might love these. It's enough disclaimer. You get it. Okay. I don't want to watch the tutorial again. Um, we've been through that before, but this is the same editing function that we've used previously. So we've at least seen how that works. I just want to see how it all worked together in a funnel and, um, or as Karja says, in a campaign, which, which makes sense. Okay. Show this again. <laughs> Good. Okay. Awesome. All right. So we made it to the page again. We've already seen a little bit how the components and columns and editor actually functions in here with the sidebar. I like that. I like all the options. I, again, just wanted to figure out how to get to all of the campaign pieces and how that works. Okay. So, um, I don't want to actually edit more on this page cause we already did that. Um, So it's just the back to the home page. And then I think if I want to get to my campaigns, I can click this or these little buttons over here. Okay. Well, I don't know where my 8% um, page, why that one's not up here. Oh, this is just my profile. Okay. So the first page we did the edits on my guess is that's just in pages and not actually in a campaign. Um, but I'm wondering, I don't know how to like build my, actual website on here. Okay. Membership. Good. Yeah. They all have that. Okay. But I don't, if I just want to build like my website, I don't know where my communications, my forums, videos. So something, it would probably be something like this new site. Okay, so I'm wondering if I would make all the pages and then enter in the site name, and that's maybe how I'd make a website on here. Okay, I don't know. I'm so done with this. Okay, um, I hope it helps. I, I, um, this is just not the way that I prefer. Um, custom domains, yep, that's good. Yeah. Okay. So that's similar. It's set up a little different than Kajabi, but similar, same kind of thing in process. Support. Good. Um, Kartra first training. That's great. Kajabi has Kajabi university. Um, one thing that I really love with, uh, Kajabi and then we'll switch over here to click funnels is that they automatically load all of your content, all of your courses, everything you create into app format. It's already mobile optimized, uh, for, you know, if you're looking on your phone as well, but, and you can edit things, you know, desktop versus mobile. So if you need to adjust some stuff, that's just, you just click it over to the phone function, but it automatically puts all of your things into an app. So if somebody's, you know, wanting to listen to it kind of on the go while they're out on a walk, like I always listen to classes when I'm walking my dog. Um, but they also have that for the Kajabi Hero University. So you can listen to the classes of how to use stuff and business coaching, uh, that's just all included in there. That's part of it. Okay, here we go. So I actually like this setup better because at least here I can see my launch checklist, funnel steps, opt-in, thank you page. This is what we did in, in Kajabi. Add new step, a new step in the funnel. Um, the path name. Let's see if I want to just like add that, like upsell, like that sales page. I don't want to, I don't know what to do, what the path is. Okay. So I added this upsell. Let's say I want it to be, we'll do a full sales page. And then it'll load the templates it has here. Let's 
let's do a video product one because it's kind of the same concept that we did inside Kajabi. I do like that it has an easy split test and the other ones I think you just clone the page or the funnel and can do variable changes and testing. That's fine. Okay, cool. So I can't really see this. Now I, I want to know about the emails. Um, because here, okay, we'll do a little bit of uh, more page edits because we did a little bit in the beginning. But then I want to look at the emails to see how the whole funnel operates, comes together, and then if we can look at uh, the website builder. Because we just did that a little bit on Kajabi. I can show you a little more, but um, maybe in another video. This is going to be a long video because I'm showing you the whole inside process. Okay, cool. So because we hit the video sales page, it auto-loaded these. Um, Kajabi has that one too. That's not the option that I clicked. And then this is great. So if this is still, again, so just something important to know. Um, this is where you have to connect it to something else or use the custom embed code. It doesn't host the videos on here for you. But we already kind of did this editor. Really pretty similar. Like you click on the section, it pops up your editing features. And it gives you a section, this one's a little different, where it does rows and then columns and then elements. Um, this looks exactly the same as when I used it in 2018. Uh, so you can see these different options. Shipping. So that's cool. Now let's see, do I um, drag and drop it? Where did it go? I'm not sure. Let's see. Yeah, if I wanted to add that little shipping. Okay, so I'm clicking on it. Okay, so if I click on it, nothing's happening. So can I drag and drop it? That's what I'm wondering. All right, that's a weird placement, but I'm just seeing if drag and drop works. Okay, good. So there it goes um, to put in your order form. So that's cool. And then you can do your settings to edit it for what information you want to collect. That's cool required or not required, animate, they all, again, they all have this in their edit features where you can fade things, um, have them come in in a second or something like that. So you could have something show up, you know, 10 seconds or 10 minutes or whatever after, say they watch the video, then you could have, maybe have your order form load, something like that. Cool, preview, save. Okay, so it's all pretty similar, pretty self-explanatory. Okay, neat. All right, so now we're gonna exit, go back, see about the emails. realized I don't think I saw where the emails are inside of Kartra. So I just popped back to Kartra real quickly. My communications would be my guess. You know, I've said before that I really like in Kajabi that when you're in your funnel, like you just see the steps all on the one page and what emails are attached to it. I really like that form of organization. But they all have the same functionalities, right? Or at least very similar in those features and processes, but the way that they deliver it is just different. Uh, so that's what you know, I'm showing you here, but I clearly have my preference. Okay. That's good. You have email and text. I think they all do have that now. Okay. Um, Faces in the way again. All right, so I'm on broadcast here. That's why it said make a new broadcast. So then I guess if I do a sequence, because that's what I would want. If you're putting something in to an actual funnel process and you want to have a bunch of a series of automated emails, that would be your sequence. So here, at least that's a great test page, simple list builder. So that's the the demo page that we start to create. So that's helpful to see. Create a new sequence um, test page. Okay, create. All right, so they have a tutorial here. Um, I like that you can see the 
the flow, the funnel map. That's good. That one's having the most trouble loading. Okay. Starting rules that initiate the sequence for any particular lead, if then automation. Yep. So they should pretty much all have some sort of if then functionality. Okay, next. Actions. Filter sequence dragging a series of actions to the canvas and linking them so they trigger. Okay. So you assign a tag. So it's pretty similar. I do like this map. This looks kind of like Infusionsoft, um, which I think sometimes can be a little bit overwhelming at times, but uh, this is this is more of what Kajabi's looks like, and so I prefer that. Okay, I like that you can change the arrangement. That's cool. It's always helpful to see. Zoom in and out. Okay. And down at exit. Okay. Don't show again. That's, oh, I didn't click. Darn. Well, we'll see. <laughs> okay, so starting rules. All right, so from the opt-in form, this one, add, save. Okay, tag. All right, I like I like this process. I can see how this works. Select it. Then add them to a list. Okay, that's cool. All right, and that, that should be enough for now to save that for starting rules. So you can see those little things are similar to these things here. So test lead form, the automation, and this is where you can add automations. So that's pretty much that same feature. Uh, and this is the if then process. So when this happens, one of these things can happen, and then you can add conditions, which are filters, if there's something that you want to exclude or include from that person. So that's a, a similar, I think that's how what those are. Okay, then I draw a line down, or send an email. And connect it, maybe. Is that not right? Okay, well, maybe we'll build the email first. And it does kind of remind me of my Infusionsoft days, which is coined to Confusionsoft. <laughs> but, uh, but, I mean, it's very customizable. Split test, uh, setting the times, dates, it's just the layout of how you create those is different than, than what I'm used to. But hopefully that still shows you a bit Hopefully that still shows you a bit of the functionality, how those connect, how those piece together. Um, I do want to make an email though. Let's see. Next. Sure. Test. Next. Gateway. Sure. I don't like that I have to uh, create all of this before the content. Like I just want to go to the content and then set this as like a default one time. Send if they're subscribed to this list. Yes. Yes. Okay. I don't. I don't want to create a split test. Just want to go to the content. Next. Okay, there we go. Content. All right, so there isn't anything here kind of built in. We do have some dynamic variables. Okay, which is cool. Oh. Just took a second to load. Okay, hello. I'm clicking on the first name. Do I drag it? Or does that not? 
I don't know. It's not loading the first name. Okay. Um, I'm really frustrated. With it. I'm such an overclear funnels. Okay. Done with our cartridge demo. Um, I think we get a little enough of the hang of it. All right. We saw how to add a page. Now I'm wondering if automation might be the emails, but let's look at new step. If it gives us emails as the, as an option. Uh, not in the steps. Okay. M maybe in the contacts, actually. Let's look at that. Okay. So now we're on ClickFunnels. I correct. I do not have any contacts yet. Okay. That's not. What I want. All right, let's look at automation. Okay, great. Here we go. Add new email. Provide the SMTP settings to customize. Okay. Okay, so you need your domain and everything, all of that set up first before you can start creating the emails. Uh, I do not want to do that right now. Okay, so at least you can see where and how to add in emails into the funnel flow from page builders from inside of ClickFunnels. So I've shown you how to function in the editing process to create a, an opt-in um, inside all three and how at least to access the emails to connect all of those. Um, now I want to look at if I just wanted to build my main website. I kind of figured that out on Kartra where I think it would be the pages that you just create the individual pages. Um, in Kajabi as you saw, I'll click over here out of pipeline, they have an actual website section portal. Like you can see here, they have website products. That's where you build your courses. Sales. That's where you build your your checkout pages, your your offer pages, marketing, all the pieces um, for the marketing, and they all just connect in there. For a website on Kajabi, you pick a theme, and then start building from that. the new website builder. Um, I really like this style. This style is beautiful. That's really nice. That's good clean photo at the top. Um, you can see all of these are free. You can, uh, they, they have a bunch of other legacy themes that you can go to, but these are their kind of default templates. Also what you can do is upload your own. So if you have somebody that you like buy a theme from or something, you can upload that. But anyway, this is how you would build your your like your homepage, and then all of your other pages connect to it. It's you click a button, that's it. And once it's gonna load, you insert in your own photos. That's how you make your website it's very easy, very simple, very quick. Okay, so you just have to put in some of your details, website or not, um your address and things like that, and then quick links. Okay, build a funnel, send a broadcast. So here's their their actual home page which is helpful to see their dashboard and if I were a website where would I be don't want to build a funnel um, maybe I do <laughs> maybe that's the option Okay, so let's go industry. And okay, type. Got it. Um, I don't want to go down that process again. That's what we did in the demo one. 
homepage, homepage, funnel, traditional website. Hey, okay, progress. Okay, so here a little intro video and then a template. So that's great. We have a template, which is really good. Some free options. And then um okay, it's the only one that I these are the same, the breezes that I used back in the day, three years ago now. They are the same. Okay, yep, so this would be maybe creating your homepage and then you build out your other pages from there and the funnels like I showed you. All right, I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> you can probably tell, kind of over this, feeling a little frustrated. I, I hope that demo really helps though so that you don't have to go through this because it definitely takes a few hours um, to kind of dive in. But, you know, maybe you saw one of these and you're like, I really resonate with the way that they do something on one of these. I, I, love Kajabi and I think for very good reason <laughs> so they are the best and um they're my favorite even if you were like okay I wanted I want really in-depth segmenting and tracking and and next level or you have a really really huge list um that might be when you'd want to use like Entreport or something for your CRM campaign and connect those two maybe you want to do more testing for conversions for a checkout page and maybe add uh, something like Thrivecart or something, you know, and, and uh, I kind of add in a, a separate component for one specific thing, but you really don't have to. This really has all of the analytics and the tracking and segmenting and if then tagging and great checkout pages and it's really easy to use, but you still, you know, have those options of connecting it to other pieces. Um, but these are still the top three true all-in-ones. I mean, I still don't think ClickFunnels is truly an all-in-one, but it is marketed as such. And there are more competitors coming on the scene. Again, it's just, it's a lot. It's a lot to make these platforms, these softwares really operate and function at the top of their game to be extremely usable and have all of these different pieces to it. So just be wary of some of the lower cost ones. Um, do their demos, do their trials, check them out to see if they're really going to be able to um, function at the level that you need them to and operate with that amount of uh, growth and sustainability and support and you know, not, not let you or your clients down. Cause it's really comes down to user experience. First and foremost, your experience to create it, to be able to make the thing that you want to make. And then the user experiences, they go through it. Okay. I think that's it. I know it's a long one, but I really hope that inside look helped. And I'm going to put my Kajabi links down at the bottom. It is the best. It's my opinion, but I showed you why. And it means the world to me. It really, really does when you use my link. So thank you. I really appreciate it. Please click the link below. Get started on your Kajabi trial right now.